Right guys, a really quick video. Um, I've probably done some similar before, it's probably dropped in a few videos, but uh, I got a little question from um, one of the YouTubers, uh, MJ85, has asked me a question, and just asked him what, what, uh, what setup I'm using with my previous videos. Uh, as many of you know, I, I often use large loads for bike fishing, you know, jerk bags, these size are bigger and big eels, etc. So I, I, use, I use my big bike setup, but I often just fish with some, something like this. Two boxes, I've got a box of soft loads, a box of cranks, random soft cranks, uh, on this rod, and this is this is the, the rod I'm using, so I'll go through it quickly. Um, the rod I'm using, I'll get the exact, um, it is 7 to 21 gram, it's a Daywa Pro Rex um, rod, 7 to 21 gram means I can, it can probably cast a little bit lighter than 7 grams to be honest, you can probably fish a few smaller loads, but 7 grams, 21, which means you can cast something a bit bigger than that as well so it gives you a, a few options to fish and it's quite good for you know fishing for perch a bit of fun you will catch small perch on it you know if you some small cranks etc or small softies um, and you can fish decent sized loads will catch you a, a, a bigger pike so i have it on you know let's say anything 15 20 pound per age gives you a bit of, a bit of something extra if you want to go finesse you can go lighter but then why use a, a chunky rod so 15, 20 pound braid, together with a, um, I've got a, I've got a 12 pound brace on this, but 12, 20, 20 pound brace, that sort of thing, um, and you're covered for, it's a titanium trace, single strand, and a coherent it's an all wire, um, and that's it, really simple, it's got me, it's still got me, me noisy, and with with cal, Caldea reel on it, um, which I'm going to at some point buy a new reel, but I'll get something similar, you know, a 50 quid type reel, reel there with Ninja or something, 2000, 2500 size, uh, that's all you need. Um, and that's my, that's my kit. And you, you can go jack bashing, you, you'll catch perch, chub. You know, I catch uh, chub on, on river with this. Um, well, like I say, it's a good bit of sport, just get out, a couple of hours fishing. Got a buddy Neil over there fishing a minute and he's catching fish and he's just missed one again. But uh, yeah, quick look at the, the low box. That's it, box of softies. That's a, that's a lure I was using in the, um, the little canal video where you saw me catching quite a few fish. Um, I've got some slightly larger shads with a bigger, bigger jig head in case I want to whack it out and I'll get it deep, deep, deep water. Um, stuff like that, the LMA B bags. Simple. A few different sizes of jig heads, 3 gram, 5 gram, 8 gram, 10 gram sort of range. Copy toes, all wrinkled, just simple. Yeah, that's all you need. A few jig heads. And this is my chuck it in a snag and see what happens sort of setup. Yeah, you're going to lose odd trace, etc. Odd load. Um, low, uh, crank wise, joint of a pile of shadow laps, you know I always use them, especially canal fishing. So mark out with jerk baits, they're, they're good. Uh, slider jerk, they're called, but a mark out of crank. Some more little random plugs, etc. Spinner, you can't go wrong with a spinner, it'll chuck a spinner, it'll chuck a rusty 7 gram size, size 3 uh, MEPS or whatever, blue box. Um, size 2 even, I can even cut some chunky size 2 and a bit of a mess, but there's uh, more pile of cranks, surface baits, some little fat cranks, fat body cranks that go a little bit shallower, and that's it, I, I've got a, a bit of variety there, and he's it, not he's not for serious fishing, he's for a bit of sport, sometimes we go fishing and we, you know, we struggle, especially fishing big lows, um, big pike, not on it, but see a lot of things, you know, you, you, you make it hard for yourself, so scale down, a rod like this, uh, go searching, that's your searching rod, you, you just, you'll get take a net with your travel light, one bag with a couple of those in it, um, bottle of juice etc for a drink and just go spend an hour hour or so on a, on a canal section, spend an hour or so on a river and just keep trying different spots, give your light rod, see what happens, you keep seeing fish, you keep seeing bigger fish, that's when you go back to your bigger loads, but a good bit of fun, anything like that doesn't have to be a day with Pro Rex, you know, that's just an example, 70 20 gram rods. Um, you can go a little bit heavier, a little bit lighter. But, yeah, I mean, such as that, curly tail group, uh, curly tail low like that, it's bang on. Got a few fish this morning with it. You can see it in the video, so. Yeah, so that's it. Cheers for watching. Just a quick video just to sort of answer that question. I do try and, I do often cover it in my videos, but I sometimes forget, so there you go, I dropped it in. So, cheers for watching, everyone is normal, and uh, I'll catch you later.
you go. Look the bronze colour that one. There you go, MJ85, that's your fish. Light lows, that's all you need. I think we all complicate it sometimes, so. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>